The Friday Night Funkin' D-Size mod just got a new update, and in this video I want to explain all the characters in the mod, and especially this Mighty.exe who is supposed to be like a replacement for Sonics.exe. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now the first character that I want to get into is going to be Boyfriend, and this Boyfriend is actually very similar to the original Boyfriend, the obvious difference being his clothing, and of course he has lavender hair in this mod. But there are a few deeper differences as well. We all know that in the original Friday Night Funkin' mod, Boyfriend is just going through week to week to try to hook up with Girlfriend, but D-Size Boyfriend is different because he's technically a virgin and he's not trying to just sleep with girlfriend he actually loves her and will do anything to just stay loyal to her just like the original boyfriend he also dated pico but in this universe he and pico are actually on good terms and they actually ended up being friends after the breakup now some weird facts about d side boyfriend are that his teeth are actually naturally that sharp they look like shark teeth if you really look at them and even though he is considered to be human, he does have issues consuming regular human food, which is why some of his favorite snacks are like drywall, completely burnt toast, and drinking wet cement. With that being said, he can eat regular food, it even says that he likes sour candy and filet of fishes without any bread. A fact that I find very funny about this version of Boyfriend is that he's a huge fan of the adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, and he even made an original character named Piranha Boy, and I'm thinking that this is supposed to be him because he has those piranha-like teeth. Something else that I really like about this version of Boyfriend is that he has a huge sense of honor. It even says that if he was ever to meet Soft Boyfriend's parents, he would break their shins, which of course is a bad thing to do, but considering that Benjamin's parents abuse him, I think it kind of makes sense. And the last fact that I'll say about this version of Boyfriend is that he's a huge Pokemon fan and his favorite Pokemon is actually Gengar. Now let's go ahead and talk about Girlfriend. Now, Girlfriend is actually pretty much the same as far as personality goes, but she is a redhead in this mod and she's considered to be pansexual and autistic. And apparently she's supposed to be slightly more intelligent than the original Girlfriend, but not by very much. Something that I find cute about this version of Girlfriend is that her and Boyfriend met actually through a debate about white chocolate versus dark chocolate and then fell in love after that debate. Now, a fact that I love about this version of Girlfriend is that she is a huge nerd. She is a hardcore gamer. She also plays D&D &D, and she'll probably beat you at any game that you challenge her to. That's how hardcore of a gamer that she actually is. It seems that her favorite games are super gory games like Mortal Kombat and Doom and fighting games like Super Smash Bros. And her main in Super Smash Bros is actually Steve. She's also a huge Mario Kart fan, which is some of you remember is Boyfriend's favorite video game and she mains Metal Mario on that. And to end off the nerd talk, she's also a huge Star Wars fan and her favorite Pokemon is Wigglytuff. And since we're talking about Pokemon, put your favorite Pokemon down in the comment section. Mine is going to be Ninetales. Next up on our list, we got to talk about Daddy Dearest. And in this mod, we see that Daddy Dearest now has red skin, a beard, and a mullet. But for the most part, he still has the same personality. Daddy Dearest is still super greedy, but he does prioritize his family above everything else. He will definitely die for his wife and his daughter. And one difference there in this mod that I really like is that he actually really respects Boyfriend in this mod, but he still wants him dead. Daddy Dearest is still a rock star, but something that does stand out here is that in this mod, he is technically considered to be a trans man. And a cute fact, he actually is considered to be a very good cook, and one of his signature dishes are actually making like cookies. Daddy Dearest also knows that Girlfriend loves bubble wrap, so he'll go out of his way to order huge packages of bubble wrap for her just so she can pop them and play with them. And a fact that I almost missed is that apparently he and Skid's mother Lila are actually considered to be old friends and this makes sense when you consider that Skid and Pump break into the castle that Daddy Dearest owns in week 2. Now we all know that Skid and Pump broke into the house because they wanted to get into some Halloween shenanigans but they probably also felt safe breaking into Daddy Dearest's house because they know that he knows Lila. And this last fact I just found pretty funny, they made it a point to note that he has never experienced blue balls. Let's cover Skid and Pump next since we just talked about them a little bit. So Skid and Pump are actually the same as far as personality goes, but now Skid is actually wearing a vampire costume while Pump is wearing a goat sheet. Now to be clear, Skid is still very much alive in this mod, but Pump is actually dead. He is a literal ghost. He's wearing the goat sheet to kind of let people know that he is a ghost, but people just think it's a costume just like Skid's. I always find it just adorable that even in death or no matter what these two kids go through, they always stick together. They are truly best friends. Now I will say that the only person that knows that Pump is actually a ghost is Lila, but she refuses to actually tell Skid because she knows that it would basically break his heart. The next character we're going to talk about is going to be Monster aka Chester. 
And Chester in his mind is very weird because he doesn't look anything like the original monster. He's actually this cherry type creature that only has one eye and his body lacks any type of arms. And for some reason he has a bunch of teeth coming out of his actual torso area. Something else that they added in this new update is that he actually has a little lemon on his shoulder and I don't know if that's supposed to be one of his eyes because if you notice his eyeball actually looks like a lemon as well or if it's like a mini version of himself. And the most ridiculous fact about this version of Monster is that he's actually only a few minutes old. In the new mod, we actually see him being born as he hatches from this giant egg. I would say that he is definitely one of the weirdest characters ever be brought up into Friday Night Funkin'. The next character that I want to talk about briefly is going to be Pico. And even though he doesn't pop up in this new week 5 update, he is in the mod proper. And he's actually the person who kills Cassandra. So in this universe, Pico was friends with Cassandra, Cyclops, and the other golf kids. But he was unaware of the school shooting being plotted. Now, once he found out about it, he did not approve of it. So he ended up killing Cassandra. Now, Cyclops, Alucard, Hanzo are still alive. And they're all still friends. And Daryl and Nene are still alive in this universe. But they're not close to Pico like in the original universe. Next, let's go ahead and talk about Mommy Mirrors. Now, Mommy Mirrors is pretty much the same in this mod as her original counterpart. The big difference is, of course, that she has orange hair, which explains where Girlfriend got her orange hair from. Mommy Mirrors is also super aggressive to anybody except Daddy Dearest's girlfriend and boyfriend to some extent. Unlike Daddy Dearest, Mommy Mirrors doesn't actually hate boyfriend. She just kind of goes with whatever her husband is going because she doesn't want to be in opposition to him. Meaning that since Daddy Dearest hates boyfriend, Mommy Mirrors just kind of agrees because she doesn't want to start a fight. I find it funny that Mommy Mirrors in this mod is technically a ex-pop star. She's supposed to be retired, but she does these coming out of retirement concerts all the time. A fact that I find very interesting about Mommy Mirrors is that she can technically beat Daddy Dearest in an arm wrestling competition. And just to put that into context, Daddy Dearest is strong enough to lift a house. So that means Mommy Mirrors is extremely powerful. And a fact that some of you will like here is that her thighs are apparently powerful enough to break a bowling ball if she focuses hard enough. I know some of you are already thinking of inappropriate jokes, just let it go. Now, just like Girlfriend, Mommy Mirrors is actually a hardcore gamer as well, which probably explains where Girlfriend got it from, and she also likes to collect figurines. Mommy Mirrors' favorite video game is Mario Kart, and she mains Daisy. Now, the last person on our list that we need to talk about is Mighty Zip. Now, a lot of people believe that Mighty Zip is actually Sonic.exe, but that's not the case. Mighty Zip is actually based off a character called Mighty the Armadillo, and this is a EXE version of that character. Obviously, the character took a lot of inspiration from Sonic.exe, which is why you see them have a lot of the same mannerism and actions. But with that being said, Mighty is definitely his own character, and we even see him pop up in the Sonic the Hedgehog, where he is captured by Dr. Robotnik, and he has to team up with Ray the Flying Squirrel and Sonic the Hedgehog in order to break out of their prison. Now what's interesting about Mighty is that he is technically a pacifist meaning that he does not like any type of violence so you would think that it would be great that he is an EXE because maybe that means that he would be less violent or less cruel than some of the other EXE characters. But that's not technically true even though he's a pacifist meaning that he hates violence he does have a lot of great fighting abilities. When you look up the character it literally says that he's as strong as a mountain and as fast as the wind. In reality the speed part is kind of an understatement because we see that he's able to actually keep up with Sonic and Sonic is able to reach hypersonic speeds and on top of all this he's also probably slightly more dangerous than some versions of sonic because he also has that hard shell which basically rejects just about anything that comes at him now a couple of fun facts that were included about mighty include the fact that he would kick a baby for ten dollars and also if he and sonics.exe met they would probably not get along at all and also the corpses that we see in his background are Fang the Sniper, Ray the Flying Squirrel, and Maria Robotnik. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video where I fully explain the elements of Insanity Mod, or check out this video where I fully go through and actually play through the mod on the second channel. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.